What is meant by fair use? Fair use is a limitation or an exception to copyright and is found in Section 107 of Title 17. Um, what I'm holding here is uh, the printed version of Title 17 and the section on fair use uh, is found here. Uh, what's interesting to note for an area of copyright law that has so much controversy and is spoken about so often, not always in a positive way, this is the amount of space that the copyright law devotes to uh, fair use. So um, I just wanted to point that out because a lot of folks might have the impression that fair use would cover um, a lot of the printed version of Title 17, but it actually doesn't. Uh, fair use allows the limited use of copyrighted content without the need to obtain permission and is actually a defense to copyright infringement. It's important to know that there are no bright line rules for fair use and it's a very fact intensive area in that fair use is determined on a case by case basis. Section 107 is instructive to the extent that it describes certain types of content where uses might be considered fair. These areas are criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Note that I said might be. It's not guaranteed that these types of uses will always be a fair use. The caveat here is it depends on how the material is used as to whether the use will be considered a fair use or not. Additionally, there are four factors that always must be considered as to whether the use made of a work is fair use. The purpose and character of the use, including whether such use is of a commercial nature or is for nonprofit educational purposes. For example, using figures that you didn't create and including the figures in a manuscript that you plan to submit to ACS. Since ACS sells subscriptions to its journals, that's considered to be a commercial use, not a scholarly use, therefore permission would be necessary. In a nutshell, when we're looking at this, non-commercial and transformative use weigh in favor of fair use. Commercial use would cut against fair use. The nature of the copyrighted work. Here, use of factual works weigh in favor of fair use and use of creative works generally cut against fair use. The amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole. For example, using 400 words of text from a three-page article is probably a fair use. However, permission would be needed to use that much text from a shorter article. Generally speaking, when we're talking about amount, use of less content is better than use of more content. However, using the heart of a work, even if it's considered to be de minimis, that could cut against fair use. The effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. So here, would the copyright owner possibly lose money or business if someone used the copyrighted work without permission? Courts will also look at the market for the creation of derivative works as well and whether that would be adversely affected. How should I handle material I find on the internet? Always assume that works found on the internet are protected under copyright unless otherwise noted. Most content on the internet is protected by copyright because as with printed versions, material is fixed in a tangible medium of expression. Copyrighted material that is contained in email and on listservs and the World Wide Web is protected. On websites, look for terms and conditions or permission information to see if permission is needed and where to write for permission. Most material on US government websites is in the public domain. However, if credit is given to another source, permission must be obtained from that source. Lack of a copyright notice, which is the little C in a circle that you always see, doesn't mean that the work is in the public domain or is not protected under copyright. It likely means that the copyright owner overlooked this or didn't know they should place a notice with their work. Use of a copyright notice is not legally required, however, it is highly advisable to use it. 